Running around the backyard and laughing with your big sister is fun for any three-and-a-half-year-old. But for Chloe Levine, it's actually a miracle. <laughs> Chloe was born in the spring of 2006. She was perfect, healthy, beautiful, um, just, you know, everything that you could dream about. But nine months later, her parents noticed something wasn't right. Her little hand was in a very tight fist all the time. She's not holding her bottle. Um, she couldn't push herself up. She couldn't put any weight on that arm. Jenny also noticed Chloe wasn't crawling like other babies her age. She would do is sit on her bottom and wrap her right leg behind her and bounce across the floor. We called it the Chloe shuffle. After visiting their pediatrician, the Levines left with no answers. And it wasn't until after Chloe's first birthday that they would receive the news every parent dreads, a devastating diagnosis. Right-sided hemiplegic cerebral palsy due to an in utero stroke. So sometime very early in my pregnancy, she had a stroke. A part of me just died. You know, here you have this beautiful, perfect piece of art that you worked so hard to create, and then to find out that she's damaged or not whole. As, as a mom, I can't even begin to tell you what that feels like. Luckily for the Levine, something they did at Chloe's birth was about to change her life. They learned of a study being done where researchers were infusing stem cells from a baby's umbilical cord blood back into their bodies in hopes to reverse the effects of brain damage. The stem cell is a cell that can divide and make a daughter cell, a replicate of itself indefinitely. That's a, and has the ability to, to turn into any of the three major types of tissues in our body. We're studying whether infusion of a child's own cord blood, which is the blood left over in the placenta after a baby's born, and which used to be thrown away but is now saved and frozen for later use, um, can help lessen symptoms of cerebral palsy. It was an IV in her arm. It took 15 minutes to reinfuse the stem cells, and she was on fluids for about four hours afterwards, and we went back to the hotel that night. Just four days after the infusion, Jenny says her family watched as Chloe's body changed. The stiffness started going away. The rigidity on the right side disappeared. She started running, jumping, you know, could lift both arms over her head. Just so many things that she could never do before, and we didn't know if we'd ever see her do. She was doing. Umbilical cord blood cell therapy for traumatic brain injury has a lot of preclinical work that's been done on that suggesting that it's beneficial. Research is still being done to show the effectiveness of core blood treatment for brain injuries. But the Levines don't need to see anything else to become believers. With this treatment, life for Chloe has become a day at the park. This is a precious, natural resource that is thrown in the garbage every single day. And it is saving lives. And it's your baby's blood. It's part of you. It's the last connection between a mother and a child and which makes it even more precious, you know, and um, I have living, breathing proof that this is working. 